Hey everyone, uh, looks like we've got some modulators working here now. I um, ran out of uh, composite video sources to feed into them, but uh, with regards to the stereo audio generator, I've just looped everything with VNC T's. Not sure what the termination is on the uh, connectors, but it seems to work fine. So we've got down here, we've got a Scientific Atlanta BTSC encoder 6380. I don't believe it has the SAP option there, no pots for the the SAP input, but I haven't actually tried it yet. We got this Gerald C6M modulator. Um, that one seems to work, but it only has um, an analog uh, mono audio input modulator. It doesn't have the 4.5 MHz carrier option. And we've got this uh, Drake unit, which seems to work fine. This is the 2550A, the VM2550A. And then we have the standard, which actually does work fine. It's just the uh, TV test generator I have over there is starting to die, and it failed again overnight. That's the TVM552S. Um, that one's got um, stereo and SAP generator built into it. I just don't have any analog audio or video feeding into it. I think I've got uh, video in right now just to test. We've got uh, two of the Agile 3000s. One of them had a dead internal power supply. That was the top one. I took it apart to look at the power supply and realized there actually still is a 12 volt DC jack in the back. So I'm using a 12 volt adapter with that. So we've got channel 3, 4, 5, 6, and then this one is also set at 6 right now. So I don't, uh, I don't know about using this one because it doesn't have the stereo input, but uh, I don't have enough stereo generators for all these anyway. But uh, they are all feeding. I have this old fiber op box here I'm using as an analog video source. And then we have this test generator. I have to use the uh, black burst output on the front uh, just temporarily. The bars output just started to fail again. But for the 4.5 MHz carrier, what it does is this unit generates a 4.5 MHz NTSC um, audio subcarrier. And then in these two units, you can have a switch that switches the audio input connector here to automatically upconvert the 4.5 MHz into whatever channel you select. Um, this standard one here, that one's got stereo audio inputs in it and sap on this uh, binding strip here. It's a pluggable Phoenix style connector. Um, analog video in. Um, it's got video and BTSC out, so I could use that as a BTSC generator for another modulator. And it's also got 4.5 MHz out on it as well, separate from the video. So that one's pretty cool. It uh, seems like a lot more modern, a lot more advanced unit uh, compared to the other ones on the bottom. The newest ones are these Wavecom ones. The uh, whatever that unit there is, the Drake has the four and a half meg input um, directly on the back over there, a black and green cable, and RF out. And then the uh, Gerald, that's just got analog video and uh, mono audio in. And then that stereo generator just has a. Uh, a terminal strip on the back for the audio in and then there's a four and a half meg out it's also a composite in and then a video out that also includes the BTSC carrier at four and a half megahertz um, other than that it's all hooked up the RF are all hooked up to this seven and a half DB splitter uh, they're all connected to the seven and a half or the seven DB inputs and then the output right now I'm using this other splitter as a seven DB pad because I don't have any F pads so that's padding the input down to this amplifier, which feeding this little TV is going through another 3.5 dB splitter just to bring the level down a little bit. Then the other output is feeding into the house to another splitter, which I'm going to uh, probably bring in this little TV and try it out in the bedroom and see, uh, see if it works. But uh, yeah, um, we got channel 3, which is a color video out of one of the composite outputs. We have channel 4, which is black burst, coming out of this test generator. And then we have channel 5, which is a color one as well, which uh, is coming out of that uh, fiber op box and using the 4.5 meg carrier um, for stereo. And then channel 6, which is the top one, I'm using the component luminance output, which is pretty much, since it's 40i, it, uh, it's, it works fine on the composite input, it's just going to be luminance though, there's no uh, color burst on it. So that's just what I'm using as test and then it's four and a half meg. The audio is coming through this little 
speaker amplifier to use it as an amplifier for going into the balanced inputs because they're looking at plus four levels and I'm just using this old cell phone as a um, media player. I've got this little speaker hooked for the TV because as bad as that thing is, it's a lot better than what's built into the TV. And yes, that TV is stereo. Um, once I get the remote working, I might be able to select SAP as well, so I'll be able to test out the, uh, the SAP generators. I just need to uh, replace the battery. In it. It's uh, not that bad of a little TV. It uh, supports ATSC as well, which I'm an antenna and put in it and use it. It's a built-in DVD player and stuff. Came from uh, excess cargo on the clearance table. But uh, that's about it for today. Um, we got this. Uh, I found this Philips. Uh, cable converter but uh, it doesn't seem to want to work with the standard off-air channels I think it might be uh, HRC or IRC which I haven't fooled around with that yet um, the uh, three uh, agile 3000 modulators will let you select uh, some carrier offset or offset for the frequency as well as the standard I don't know if the Drake will if there's a switch on the back for that or not or if it's inside but yeah that's just a little quick update for today uh, eventually I'll uh, Hook up the Ethernet out here and uh, stick a couple of Raspberry Pis out on the, the modulators, but we'll leave that for another video. Anyways, have a good night, guys.